One local city wants to reduce the penalties for people caught with small amounts of marijuana. Temple wants to reduce the fine from $1,000 to $75 for anybody with less than an ounce of pot. And there would be no jail time. Now, the city says it's because a lot of college kids drive through the city. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes has a look at this new proposal. Deidre? Yeah, City Councilwoman Penny Ransom says that, of course, if you break the law, you should see some sort of a punishment. You should be punished. But at the same time, she believes that in this instance, the penalty is just much too severe, and that's why she's spearheading this effort. What I have the power to do is to introduce amendments to an already existing ordinance that lowers the punishment for less than an ounce of marijuana within the corporate boundaries of the City of Temple. Temple Council Member Penny Ransom announcing plans to do just that at last week's City Council meeting. She believes the penalties spelled out in Temple's current marijuana possession ordinance are too severe for an offender caught in possession of less than an ounce of pot. And what that ordinance says is that you can have up to $1,000 in fines, 180 days in jail, or both. And that's left up to the discretion of a judge on a case-by-case -case basis. Under Ransom's proposal, someone caught with less than an ounce of marijuana and who had committed no other offenses would receive a $75 fine and no jail time. The councilwoman's plan mirrors a similar ordinance the city of Clarkston passed last year. While we want to move forward to make a decision expeditiously, but we also uh, don't want to be so hasty that we overlook something. City Administrator Bill Osborne is preparing a full report on the proposal to present to city council members at next month's meeting that will include input from Clarkston city officials. I'm saying, okay, if you had it to do over again, what would you do different? And so we can benefit by that their experience, their success, and their mistakes. As it stands now, Ransom says the punishment doesn't fit the crime. The penalty's too severe. That person could possibly not have a job, not have a transportation, have an arrest record and jail time on their record. Could they apply for a loan? The consequences are so far to me outreaching. And since announcing that she intended to move forward with this proposal last week, the councilwoman says that the response she received has been overwhelmingly positive. Still, she says she plans to uh, host a series of discussions, meetings in the community, in addition to the town halls uh, before this finally goes before city council, and that will be uh, a couple of months from now, it is expected at least, for a vote. She says that she wants to make sure that uh, any and all questions and concerns are addressed. That's the latest here in Temple, Georgia. I'm Peter Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right. Thanks, Deidre.